Okay, let's start by defining the first ionization energy. It's the minimum energy required to remove an electron from a gaseous atom, leaving behind a gaseous ion. And if you don't put gaseous both times, you won't get the point. If there's a little Saturn symbol, well, it's the same definition, but don't forget to add at STP, which is standard temperature and pressure. So let's look at the first ionization energy of sodium. Sodium gas turns to sodium ions in the form of a gas, and don't forget that electron. Looking at the first ionization energy of copper, again, copper gas goes to ions of copper gas and that one electron. Don't forget it, or it's not balanced, it's not an equation. Ionization energy tends to be used for things that hate electrons, electrophobes, and almost always those things are metals. Moving on to the second definition, which is electronegativity, there are multiple definitions of this, but the one the IB wants you to know is it's a measure of an atom's ability to attract electrons in a bond. Looking at hydrogen fluoride, fluorine has a higher electronegativity than hydrogen, so those electrons in the bond are going to be shifted towards the fluorine, just a little bit. And so the most electronegative element is in fact fluorine, electronegative, think of it as electron lover or electrophilic, it loves electrons. Conversely, the thing that hates electrons the most, the least electronegative element, is francium, and that's an electrophobe. It hates them. 